What's something $100 or less but is a total game changer? Serious. 10 feet long phone chargers. You can roll to the other side of the bed. A solid state drive for your PC, if you currently have a hard disk drive. Everything loads so much faster and it's pretty easy to install. Blackout curtains. Especially if you work second shift or graveyard. The quality of sleep goes up so much. In more confined spaces or if blackout curtains just are not enough. Pair them with blackout roller blinds and if fitted snug next to zero light will get in even if the sun is fully shining right at the window. For me curtains alone didn't work. The little gaps around the sides totally ruined them for me letting in far too much light. Plus most didn't truly block the light out. Double up though? Works a charm. A kitchen knife that isn't some Walmart garbage. Totally changed the kitchen game. I'm currently taking care of a 98 year old who can afford planes, seriously she owns planes, but refuses to get kitchen knives because they're too expensive. I started bringing my own because she wanted me to use a butter knife to cut the veggies. Never again. A portable power station. It's insane how useful it is. I got mine for $90. It has flashlights, an air compressor, charging ports for plugins USBs. It has a few other functions I cannot think of ATM. But lastly, it'll jump a car four to six times before it needs recharged. And charges quickly. Never have that awkward experience with strangers, and I can even jump someone else quickly and efficiently with no risk to my own. And in winter OF King Boy it's a game changer slash lifesaver. I've never felt more confident in my POS car since. Edit, this blew up a little and I've got no time to answer, work and all. I've got the Schumacher 1200p Camp Multifunctional Portable Digital Power Station, if you can get it on sale it's perfect and prices differ by area. They also need tiny maintenance as others posted recharging every so often, and not leaving them to bake in your car. I keep mine inside during the warmer months if I'm not going anywhere. It's just a good thing to keep in the car for winter. It sounds so ordinary, but, the kitchen trash can with the foot pedal that flips open the top. We lived with a press lip to open kind for years because we were too cheap to spend an extra $10 in the beginning. OMG, no longer having to manually open and close that thing like an animal is a pleasure I could not have predicted. Now, I just step on the pedal, and it opens. A weighted blanket. One of the best purchases I've ever had. Edit, there seems to be a lot of questions and many of them repeat so I'll try to answer the most frequent ones. Where can you get a good one for less than $100? A. Amazon has great ones for $70 to $100 but tend to either be twin size or on the lighter side. However you can also get good and heavy ones on sale, especially around this time of year. Don't they get hot? A. A bit, but I live in the cold for most of the year due to the weather and stick my feet out during the hotter days. Aren't they for autistic people? A. Yes and no. They are used to help some of the people who have to live with autism, but are also used for a lot of restless people. How do you clean them? A. I use a duvet cover, and wash that weekly, then take it to the laundromat every 90 days or so. Electric toothbrush. Good lord does it feel fresh to brush now? Even the $20 Oral-B ones are great and a head will last you almost as long as a normal brush. Instapot is also amazing. Oh hey making BBQ chicken? 15 minutes and it's ready to go. Definitely a game changer. Second the electric toothbrush. But. I'd suggest going right up to the $100 limit and getting a Sonicare. Dash cam, people taking ride in my car don't know that dash cam also records voice, so don't lie. I just got one. It gives you peace of mind. Be sure to get one with a rear camera because a lot goes on behind you. Bonus points if it has an app you can access the recorded video. Double bonus points if you can have it record while your car is parked. Dash cams are great to catch potential insurance fraud. If the situation comes up I personally wouldn't mention you have a dash cam. Just exchange information and send your video to the insurance company. I've seen videos where the person says, I got you on video. And the other person runs away so there's no recourse for the victim. A pressure cooker and a slow cooker, you can get both for less than $100. With whatever money you have left over, bulk order rice and beans by the pound. As a Brazilian, my father grew up eating rice and beans, and the meal has stuck with him to the extent that every day he'll make at least one batch. What takes my grandma hours to make the old-fashioned way can now be done in about an hour and five minutes, with five minutes of effort and an hour of waiting. He buys in bulk so feeding our entire family of five a full meal costs about $1.50 total. 
For anyone on a budget, or anyone who really likes rice and beans, I could not recommend this more. Edit. We use an instant pot for the beans and an aroma brand slow cooker for the rice. While we could just do everything in the instant pot, it's easier because both cook simultaneously to speed up the process. For the rice. Put in 2 cups of rice and 1 cup of water, hit the white rice button, and you're good. This takes about an hour to cook. For the beans. Many of us actually don't eat meat in our family, so our recipe doesn't use any, but I'm sure you could throw some in to try it out. Put in 2 cups of beans, 5 cups of water, 3 cloves of crushed garlic, 2-3 to three bay leaves, and a finely chopped medium-sized onion. Press the beans button, make sure the timer is at 45 minutes, and you're good. This takes about 45 minutes to cook, but we always let it rest for 15 minutes or so before releasing the pressure. For the sake of those new to pressure cookers, there's a dial you twist to release the pressure, and we do this with a ladle from a foot away. The pressure lessens the longer you wait after the meal has finished cooking, so after 15 minutes steam will still release but far less than if you had not waited. Add some salt directly into the pot of beans and stir. When serving, people will usually add a bit more salt, and some of our family likes to mix in half an avocado when we have them lying around. I hope this is helpful and happy cooking. A braided charging cable, to replace the non-braided type. Not quite the same, but I bought myself a 6-foot braided USB extension cable, and it's a game changer. It's a male USB plug on one end, female on the other, so then I can plug whatever other cable into it for my phone or battery bank or whatever. The nearest outlet to my bed is a good 4 feet down the wall from my nightstand, so it's really great to be able to plug my phone in at night, but still have it right there for my alarm in the morning, among a plethora of other uses. This is going to be a little strange but insulation, most attics and basements aren't adequately insulated. Over time this can cost you hundreds of dollars a year not to mention the room is just uncomfortable, if it's not well insulated. You can rent an insulation blower and buy the blow-in insulation for a single room for about $100. You'd be surprised the difference it makes. Stop and start researching this first. To anyone taking this comment as a seriously, just renting an insulation blower and adding depth is at best fast track to mold and moisture problems and at worst creating a life-threatening fire hazards. You need to seriously research this before taking it on as a DIY before doing this you need to at a minimum. Ensure you have air sealed between the conditioned area in the attic slash basement. Create appropriate vapor barriers specific to the climate you live in, also considering if you have heat and air conditioning. Maintain proper ventilation in the attic slash basement space after air, vapor, insulation barriers are installed. Check for safety hazards such as, non-insulation contact lighting, asbestos, radon, for basements, old electrical wiring, etc. The list of things goes on and on. Do not do as OP suggests and just rent an insulation blower and go for it. A good multi-tool like a Leatherman. Small enough to keep with you at all times, with a plethora of everyday uses. Also a proper tool set for the bigger jobs will come in handy. A good rechargeable LED flashlight won't set you back much, but it's super useful as well. Musicians earplugs. Mine cut down the sound level by two thirds or so and I use them at every concert, but also on the subway, at loud bars etc. They don't make things sound muffled, just quieter. Your ears can't regenerate, ever, and my work depends on my hearing so I gotta keep them safe. And my pair only cost about $25 Canadian. A food saver vacuum sealer. Our food waste has gone down so, so, so much. Plus, I am able to buy meat at Costco and freeze it on half pound portions. And when chicken goes on sale, I seal it in two serving portions. This machine paid for itself in the first few months and has saved me hundreds of dollars. My family gets a honey baked ham for the holidays, and I am able to enjoy that ham in April and July if I want it. Got one for Christmas. Broke it out of the box early today. The grocery store near us had whole prime strip loins on sale for $4.99 per pound. I ended up buying two 10-pounders. Not sure what happened but they got rung up for $2.49 per pound. So I got 20 pounds of prime strip loin for $50. I butchered them into steaks when I got home and vacuum sealed them. The internet, it's almost a free education. You can find free coding boot camps, MIT lectures, and more on there. It's not only the free education everyone is demanding, without the fancy piece of paper that costs hundreds of thousands, but also one of the best networking tools out there which is what college is mostly these days. 
maybe one day people will actually move beyond that piece of paper, instead of demanding we pay for it with our taxes for our whole lives. When I moved in with my college roommate, he said he wanted to string up RGB lights. As a PC nerd, I thought I would go along with it for the memes. As it turned out, it was amazing to have. Not only did it erase the monotony of a hardly decorated, prison cell-sized dorm, but it allowed us to introduce some variation into our lives as well. For holidays we could always choose colors of the season, but when for example someone needed to stay up and study, but the other needed to sleep, you could set it to a dark blue. It would give enough light to read a worksheet, and allow the other to sleep. The icing on the cake was that they were synced to his Echo Dot. All we ever had to do was say Alexa, turn the lights off, or Alexa, make the lights, insert color here. We ended up never needing the overhead light, and just used the RGBs. For $20 to $30, and I'm dead serious, get a strip of RGB lights in your room. With your remaining budget, you could probably get the Echo Dot too. A good can opener. You don't need a really high-end one made of gold or anything, but a good quality can opener makes all the difference. We used to get ones from Dollar General or Walmart and they would open maybe 5 cans before breaking. My mom finally bought a really nice one at some home cooking store and it's lasted for years. If you're into coffee, and haven't gotten into the world of grinders, an AeroPress will result in a solid cup even with pre-ground stuff. Additionally, you can get solid whole bean coffee from your specialty shop and have them grind it for you, since we're not delving into grinders. AeroPress 40 US dollars. A good bag of coffee can be had for less than $20. An electric, USB chargeable lighter. I don't smoke but I do light a lot of candles, use it to light my fireplace, etc. No more dealing with the stupid ones that run out of fuel or whatever. Or the little tiny ones with the rollers that I could never freaking get to work. Plus there's no flame to blow back at you. If something pushes against the electrical current, it just goes out. A shitload of dished towels. They make kitchen life so much easier. Wiping up spills, getting things out of the oven, putting trays down on a hot surface, you've suddenly always got one to hand, and you never have to worry if it's clean, because you've always got 20 in the cupboard. Just grab a new one and go to town. For that matter, anything that is both cheap and that you spend a lot of time looking for is something to buy multiples of. Grab multiple sets of tweezers, nail scissors, waiter-style corkscrews, they're small enough as to be unobtrusive, and it'll save all the stress of trying to find one when you really need it. A filing cabinet, folders and a label maker. This was a total game changer when I was tired of spending hours looking for a specific document. I can pull taxes, healthcare docs, warranties, receipts, etc. in seconds. It's also nice because stuff doesn't pile up on a desk or table. It gets dealt with or filed. The label maker is a big help in legibility and quick visual reference. Also if you're going to tackle organizing your crap, I recommend checking out Getting Things Done by David Allen. A power bank that can jump start your car. Mine has a compass, a flashlight with three settings, on, strobe, SOS, and can charge anything with a USB port and has jumper cables to jump your car. Batteries go flat. Shit happens. I had a super reliable car with a newish battery but I accidentally left my hatch ajar one time, and all the automatic lights stayed on without me realizing. Battery went flat. You can wait for someone to come along and help, or call roadside assistance that might even charge you, or you can get one of these. And if you see someone else with a flat battery, you can jump them without even using your car so there's nowhere on your battery. I used to have so much trouble staying hydrated when I was out. I didn't like plastic water bottles from convenience stores, and I hated using a water fountain. Now that I carry water with me, I'm always drinking water when I'm out. It is vacuum insulated, so it keeps water cold for hours and hours on end. You can even put hot miso soup in it for cold hikes. It is stainless steel, so it is BPA free. The company is a Japanese rice cooker company, but the bottle is made in Thailand. All of the other companies, Swell, Clean Canteen, Hydro Flask, Yeti, make theirs in China. It has a flip lid that pops open and stays open for you to drink. It only takes one hand to open or to close. This mechanism alone makes it stand heads and shoulders above the rest. It is 20 ounces which is decent. I would prefer larger, but it is still good enough. My only other option would be to buy a second one for backup if needed. A tourniquet and the proper training in how to use them. In a lab setting 80% of improvised tourniquets failed. In real life that number will be higher. 
It takes 5 to 8 minutes to bleed to death and up to 25% of gunshot deaths could have been prevented, if a tourniquet had been properly applied. It boggles my mind we have CPR kits and classes but as soon as you mention tourniquets people think you are some goddamned loon. You would think for all the news of mass shooting we would be somewhat better informed on the things, that can actually save lives. Cast Iron Frying Pan Hal for $100 you can get a whole set at the thrift store and the old stuff is arguably better than buying new. Use oven cleaner, the harsh version, to strip it down, to bare iron and season it over and over and over again. You will never buy pots and pans again in your whole life. Burn shit super bad? No problem just season it. No really it's fucked up. No problem. Just season it.